Oh, you know, I used to work as a dishwasher when I was young. This really, really takes me back. Hey, everybody. How are you today? I hope everything is well. It's me, Jack, and I'm here to teach you six vocabulary words from a conversation in a video. Today's video is about a man who tests his fiance on why she loves him. Before the video, let's take a look at the words. The first word is to freak out. Next are literally and livelihood. We will continue with greasy and to pick up the check or tab. The final one is to take somebody back. Okay, let's watch the video. Well, hello there. How can I help you? Hi there, we'd like a table for two, please. Honey, you can't be serious. You wanted to eat here? This is like a chain restaurant. I know, I used to come here as a kid all the time with my parents. It's great. We've lived here for over 30 years and are very proud of our community. I'm sorry, did I ask you to talk? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the restaurant's past. I don't really care. So if you could just leave this between my fiancé and me, that'd be great. Thank you. Honey, are we really going to eat here? Come on, honey. It's not that bad. I have a lot of really great memories here. Just do me this favor, all right? Well, okay, but then you're going to owe me big time, okay? Maybe you can make it up with, like, a diamond necklace or something. Yeah, sure, we'll talk about it. We'll take a table for two, please. All right, here are your menus, and you will find the drinks at the back. I'll give you a few minutes to look it over. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, Anna, uh, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about something. Yeah, what's up? You're not pushing back our trip to Hawaii's trip again, are you? Because if we have to go in September instead of August, I won't be there when all the influences are there, okay? And I'm going to freak out, all right? Like, literally, you don't want to see it. Well, I think we'll have to skip the trip to Hawaii together this year. What? If I'm not at yacht parties or on beaches, what should I post on Instagram? Well, maybe posting on Instagram isn't the most important thing in the world. I am an influencer, okay? Instagram posts are my livelihood. It literally is the most important thing in the world to me. Well, the company's going through some rough times right now. And because of that, I think we'll have to be a little more careful with our money. Is that a metaphor? You know, I don't understand metaphors. Look, the company isn't doing too well. I'm a little cash poor right now. I'm hearing a lot of jargon, not really sure what you mean by this. Please just be clear, okay? Anna, you really enjoy the finer things in life, right? Yeah. Fancy restaurants, big vacations, diamond necklaces, all that good stuff. Well, yeah, it's what I live for. But those material things, those material things aren't the only reason that you love me, right? You don't just love me because of my money, do you? Well, I don't just want to be with you because of your money, but like, okay, I could never love someone who isn't able to financially support me. That's important in a relationship to me. All right, have you guys made a decision on what you'd like? Yeah, I'll have your special breakfast. And what can I get for you? I don't know, everything looks super greasy. Whatever the nicest thing on the menu is, the most expensive, how about a steak? Yeah. All right, I'll be back with your food. So, what are you trying to ask? Never mind. Don't worry about it. I'll talk to you about it later. Okay. Okay, I got to respond to some Snapchat. Stop looking weird. Better. All right. Is there anything else that I can get you? Dessert, perhaps? No, everything was delicious. Thank you so much. All right, well, here's your bill. No rush. Thanks.
Hey, Anna, is there any way you could pick up the check this time? I'm sorry, what? You are the owner and CEO of a major tech company. Well, that's it. That's what I was trying to tell you. The company isn't doing too well right now. I, I don't actually have any money. You don't have any money? You're joking, right? This is a joke, but not very funny. It's a joke, right? No, sadly, it's not a joke. So could you pick up the tab? No, I didn't even bring my wallet. Oh, no. I'll take my chances then. Excuse me? What are you doing? Yeah, how can help you? Well, okay, this is embarrassing. But sadly, neither of us brought our wallets to the restaurant today. I was wondering if there was any way we could wash dishes to pay for our meal. You cannot be serious. Well, hmm. If you don't have money and... I guess we could use the help in the back, so that would be a fair trade. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You want to follow me? Oh. Oh, you know, I used to work as a dishwasher when I was young. This really, really takes me back. This is disgusting. Why don't you help me? Come on, are you kidding me? Do you not realize that the only reason a woman of my caliber would be dating someone like you is because of your money? I mean, really, did you think it was because of your unbelievably good looks or your lovely personality? Listening to you talk about your hopes and your dreams is more than enough work. Anna Robinson, why are you being such a- Because I am out of here. I am done with you, okay? Expect me at your place tomorrow to pick up my stuff. Is there a problem here? No, everything is okay, Susan. Susan? Hey, Anna. Yeah, what? My company's stock is not in trouble. The meal was already paid for. And Susan, she's actually one of my family friends. I wanted to see if you were going to be only with me because of my money. This was a test. I set it all up. And you failed. So, if you came over tomorrow and packed up your clothes, that would be wonderful. My assistant is gathering everything as we speak. Oh, not again. And I'm going to freak out, all right? Like, literally, you don't want to see it. To freak out. It means to become, or something makes you become, so angry, surprised, excited, or frightened that you cannot control yourself. The examples. She just freaked out when she saw the police. Here in Texas, they freak out when there's snow on the ground. Literally. It means used to show that what you are saying is really true and is not just an impressive way of describing something. The examples. They were responsible for literally millions of deaths. We live literally just around the corner from her. Instagram posts are my livelihood. Livelihood. It means the way you earn money you need to pay for food, a place to live, and clothing. The examples. They earn their livelihood from farming. Fishing is the main source of livelihood for many people in the area. I don't know. Everything looks super greasy. Greasy. It means covered in grease or oil. The examples? These french fries are too greasy. Her long, greasy hair hung down to her shoulders. Hey, Anna, is there any way you could pick up the check this time? To pick up the check or tab. It means to pay a bill, especially when paying for others. The examples? We all went out to dinner and Adam picked up the tab. I know it's old-fashioned, but I still think a guy should pick up the check on a first date. Oh, you know, I used to work as a dishwasher when I was young. This really, really takes me back. To take somebody back. It means to make you remember a period or event in the past. The examples? This song always takes me back to my childhood. 
Having the grandchildren around takes me back to the days when my own children were small. Well, that's it. We finished our lesson for today. I hope you find these vocabulary words very useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, hit the bell for notifications. See you in the next lesson.